Hi friends! Today I'm here with my girls, my older girls. I mean, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. They've been wanting to be in a video with me for a long time. So they are so excited. They're like, this is the moment we've been waiting for. So right here is my oldest, Neria. Say hi. Hi. And right here is my second girl, Salma. And today, guys, what are we going to be making? Banana bread! Banana bread. We are going to be baking some banana bread together. We love cooking together. It just helps us bond so much. And we love to sit down and enjoy the thing we've baked or we've cooked, <laughs> you know, after the cooking process. So I'm going to be doing that with this girl so you guys can see how we flow together. These are the ingredients over here. Yes, these are the ingredients we need. So I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients and then we can start cooking. Okay, for our banana bread, you need bananas, of course. And I love using bananas that are insanely overripe. You can see how um, ripe they are. They have dark spots on the skin. The riper the banana, the better the taste of the banana bread. So let your banana be very, very ripe. Then you also need 8 tablespoons of butter at room temperature. Then half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you need 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Then you need half a teaspoon of salt, a third of a cup of sugar. You need 2 eggs. You need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Then you need half a cup of milk. So guys, we've preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using degrees Celsius, that's 180 degrees Celsius. So we are going to start with our delicious banana bread. This is the most delicious banana bread ever. I tell you the truth. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing is to mash our bananas. And Neria is going to mash these bananas for us. I'm just going to peel them and put them here. She's going to use a potato masher to, to mash the bananas. She always does the mashing of the bananas when we, for some reason when we're making banana bread. She's always in charge of mashing the bananas. Okay. So Salma is going to cream the sugar and the butter. This is the butter here. It's at room temperature, so it's very soft and easy to apply. <laughs> what? It looks so soft, right? Because I kept it out for um, at least one hour. Look at that. I didn't wash it. Where's our sugar? Let's get our sugar. Now you just want to make sure you cream that until it's so nice and fluffy. <laughs> So while we are doing that, I'm going to prepare our pan. This is a five by nine inch loaf pan. So I'm just I put in about a teaspoon of oil. You know, any oil will work. I'm using corn oil, but any oil, just any um, oil with a light color, of course, <laughs> will work. Not red palm oil. Okay. So <laughs> are you done mashing, girl? Already, that was fast. We left chunks. Yeah, she loves when she makes like chunks of banana in the banana bread. I love it too. So, okay, our pan is ready. We'll just keep it over here. So Cream that butter, girl. Don't get stuck on shirt. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now we have chunks. Are good, but you want to give it just a little more of a mash. Let's see. No, wasn't that quick? Mm -hmm. Don't fall ball. It's creamy now because. Okay, Salma, do you want to put yours on the camera so our friends can see what you're doing, Salma? Thank you for giving her some, some room, Nene. Okay, creamy, keep going. <laughs> there we are. Is it going good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw what you did. Yeah. Oh, be careful. 
Anyway, so <laughs> it's so creamy. It's so creamy. Oh my goodness. It's a cream now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can use this to make to make something nice. Like what? Like the banana bread? Uh, we can also add the first thing to make it sweet. First thing? Mm -hmm. What is first thing? <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, now we're going to keep our wooden spoon aside. Then we're going to grab a fork. Oops, did I soil you? Where did the cream go? Hey, I saw you. <laughs> so right now, friends, we are going to... I really took out the spoon from the cream. Sama, do you want to put this in the sink for us, please? Thank you, girl. <laughs> Oh, they have a mini whisk that they I bought these for them. They are always so excited to use this mini whisk so they can whisk whenever we have to whisk anything. So I'll get the second whisk. So I'm not going to be using my whisk anyway. So they will use it. So now the next the next thing the next thing will be to add some milk. You guys hold on. I'm going to add milk, the milk to the mashed bananas, and I'm going to add the eggs, two eggs to the cream. We have a little the hold already in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So the milk. Do you want to mix that for me? We be good. Then our two eggs coming here. Oh, I need a spatula to clean that egg. Oh, just give me a second. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna eat that. No, you can't eat raw eggs, it can yeah. hurt you, you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just um, scrape the sides of your bowl with this spatula salma because it's kind of messy. Just mix it on to combine, you don't want to over mix it, especially with the eggs. You want your banana very nice and moist. That is combined, that is looking good. Now we're just going to let salma. This has to combine. <laughs> Sam, are you combined? No. Sam, are you sure, girl? Mm -hmm. We just want more time with that whisk. Sam, I see some on the side. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that's well. Okay, I think I'm going to use my whisk. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to use my whisk anyway. So, no. What? She just likes it. She just likes it. <laughs> it okay. looks like it's combined. It's combined. Okay, nice. Let's. Oops. Take. I still see some. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it. Okay. I'll do that. Please put this in the sink for me. Thank you. Then I'm just going to give this a nice little whisk with my big whisk. <laughs> so this is our um, butter, sugar, and egg mixture, and this is our banana and milk mixture. So we're just going to combine them. I'm using a spatula to make sure I scrape all that goodness. So I'm just going to whisk this too. Um, can I add this? Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to add some van the vanilla extract. How can I add the next thing? Yes, you can add the next thing. Then I'm going to whisk. So we just have our wet ingredients all mixed together. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients. And our butter is done. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, how we help our mom cook almost all the time. Yeah. Quite all the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't like when I miss when she's cooking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you always there. Okay, let's go. Uh -huh. So let's add the, the dry ingredients. I'm going to start off with the flour. Now, Salma, do you want to add the salt for us? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now we we'll add the baking powder for us. Thank you. Salma, add the cinnamon powder for Wait, us. Still cinnamon, Shake it good. <laughs> the cinnamon powder, okay. Thank you. Then, Nerea, do you want to add the baking soda? Now let's keep our bowls aside. Now we are going to use a spatula and then we are going to give this a light, nice 
whisk until it's just combined. You don't want to over mix it. Now time to add the dough and, and, and into the pan and then bake it. Now it's time to do what? Put it into the into the into the into the pan and bake it. Yes, it's baking time, right? Well, mom has a bake one <laughs> time. That's why you will usually see her tummy. <laughs> are you excited for the baby? Yeah, I was excited. Yeah, we are going to put the we're going to put the batter right into our pan. Okay, then I'm just going to level the top. Mommy. Oh yeah, we're going to clean that mess. I'm just going to use a spatula to to level the top. Yes. This is our banana bread ready for action. Oh. Oh, you're bending <laughs> down so they can see your face. Okay. So I'm just going to put this into the oven so it can bake and i'll show you guys what it looks like okay guys our cake is all done or our banana bread is all done you can see what it looks like and it took um about 55 minutes and how do you know that your banana bread is done somewhere wow. mm -hmm. when, when it's brown uh, when it's brown, but there's another thing we always do to check if it's done. You poke a toothpaste inside, and if it a tooth what? A toothpick inside, and if it comes out clean, it's then ready. It's done. But if it comes out um, very no, if it comes out with like butter on top, then it's not done. So you put a toothpick in the middle of the banana bread, and if it comes out clean, then it's done. So we're just going to put this. So that's our banana bread. <laughs> oh my god, you can see how moist it is. Those chunks of banana, everything. It's still kind of hot. Okay, we'll put some spices for ourselves. That's for you, Maria. So, you want to grab a fork? I'll just use my hand. <laughs> I'll just use my hand. Oh my god, it's like it's sweeter. Come stand here and tell them what you think. <laughs> it is so moist and then you can see like chunks of banana scattered around the bread, which I love to see. Mm. Sweet. The banana flavor is amazing and the house just smells like banana heaven. I love baking because of the way it makes the house smell. What do you think, Neria? I think it's sweet, moist, good, and the best thing I ever ate. The best thing you ever ate? You always say that. <laughs> what do you think, Salma? Move a little bit this way. What do you think? I think it's sweet, it's nice, it's... It's so perfect. It's the Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed watching us make this delicious banana bread. For the full recipe, go to my blog. What's my blog, Maria? Preciouscore.com. And you will find the full recipe there. Also, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. So you don't miss any of my videos. Also click on the notification bell so you can always get notified whenever I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.